AMD main GPU series, the 6800 series and the 3080, 3070 and 3060 Ti are finally under MSRP. Graphics card prices have been rapidly going down for the last three months and have reached MSRP already, but only when all cards are considered. Pricing falling to MSRP level is not the case for each GPU model though, such as the core portfolio from 2020 bar the flagship models. Such list includes the 6800 XT and the 6800 from AMD and the 3060 Ti, 3070, and 3080 10 gigabyte SKUs. NVIDIA and retailers were not so eager to lower the prices on these cards because their official MSRPs were introduced before the pandemic and the crypto boom took effect, rendering those official prices an elusive dream. The fact that both AMD and NVIDIA are to replace their flagship models soon does not help either. We might need to wait for high-end and mid-range upgrades or updates a bit more. 3D Center now reports that the pricing for this core lineup has finally dropped under MSRP, 97% to be exact, for the SKUs mentioned above. However, this pricing is still a bit higher than the whole series combined for each brand, as the new graph shows. And as you can see down here, this is what we've been dealing with for pretty much, you know, since the start of the crypto boom. Where at the peak, we were at 294% of MSRP, and it's slowly just started deteriorating as people have lost interest in crypto mining, and that's pretty much it. There's definitely a huge influence of crypto mining over the prices of these GPUs, and I think that that is completely undeniable. The good news is what that does is now, with the drop in price, it points out two things. It points out, one, that we are having a reduction in the interest in cryptocurrency mining, and two, the availability for opportunity for those that are willing to start building up during the bear market. So I definitely am seeing this as an overall positive. AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT is now selling for 759 euro, while the 6800 can be found for 639 euro. Importantly, these prices are still technically higher than MSRP, but only due to poor euro USD exchange rates, which have been accounted for in the list. And of course, that is greater macroeconomic issues going on. Of course, we're aware that the euro is struggling right now and that makes this kind of probably a little bit more hard to actually predict. For NVIDIA Core GPUs, the pricing is uh, a bit worse still. The 3080 10 gigabyte sells at 675 euro, while the 3070 sells at 579 euro. The only card to reach MSRP is the 3060 Ti at 474 euro. Again, note these prices include current exchange rates. The pace at which core 2022 GPU prices decline is slower than for most cards, especially the flagship cards and low-end models. The former are to be replaced soon, while the low-end models will lose their value just as quickly as new architectures are announced. Of course, I think it, they say they'll lose it just as quickly. I don't know if I agree with that on the low-end models, just primarily because we won't probably see low-end models of the next-gen GPUs until 2023. Uh, it Looks like we're still getting delays on Ada Lovelace and the RX 7000 series from NVIDIA and AMD respectively. And usually what you see on the initial launch is their top end models. So your 3080 and 3070. So in this case, the 4080 and 4070. And then the launch, of course, of like a 7900 XT and a 7800 XT, that sort of thing. And then you'll see the lower end models come sometime in 2023, presumably, at least that's what I would expect. Of course, we are kind of up in the air about manufacturing and that's kind of where things start to take an interesting turn. And we are, I think like if we sit here and look at it completely objectively, we would have to admit that we aren't sure exactly what's going to happen, except in the short term, it is very clear that the prices of the 30 series and 6,000 series are coming down. It doesn't mean that necessarily we'll see them continue to come down just primarily due to the fact that we aren't sure what's going on uh, on the grander macroeconomic scale, especially as it comes to supply and demand and supply chains and all of that sort of thing. And the manufacturing, uh, especially with everything going on in Taiwan and China and all of that. So we'll kind of have to sit back and wait and see. I would presume we have pretty good manufacturing in place already for Ada Lovelace and the RX or RX 7000 series already. 
the high end, right? So your 7900s, your 7800s. The question will be the mid range to low end. Uh, if, cause if those aren't already in production and we're having production issues and manufacturing issues, those may get delayed further and further down the line if that ends up being a major problem. And that's kind of where I put a question mark, which would be your kind of 40, 60 and below and 7,600 and below. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.